So guys, hello and welcome back to the next lesson. So in the previous lesson we did something like that. We get the violin in, the glass container and the little stand here. And now I want to get a pretty cool position for the camera. And I like to tilt stuff, so I think with the tilting method we can get a pretty cool image out of here. So let's tilt that a little bit. So we will get something like this. It's not that special. Let's get here a subdivide. I want to subdivide a little bit the glass. Bilinear, yes. Oh wait, we just use a bevel, bevel, poly bevel. Let's get a little bevel on here. Just a tiny bit of bevel. Something like that. Let's get a number back on here. Cool. Let's get this back. Yes, that's better with the bevel. Let's get hard normals here. Cool. So now we've got a pretty, pretty okay perspective with the camera. Now I want to introduce a little bit of bokeh. So let's, let's copy the focus distance here. Redshift DOF. Past relative reference, and let's get the focus point here. So now we decide where the focus point should be, and I really like it. Okay, it's setting on the glass, so let's go right here and let's move the focal point. Something like here. Yes, that's pretty good. Let's go a little bit down with the uh, COC radius. Something like that. Cool. Next, let's introduce a little bit of material stuff. So the glass is pretty shiny and looks pretty clean. That's nice, but let's, let's make it a little bit imperfect. Let's get a RS noise here. Let's get a normal noise for now. And let's just connect this into the reflection roughness. And let's get a fit or ramp. Let's connect this to the reflection roughness. And let's play a little bit around here. Let's make the roughness areas a little bit bigger. Something like that. And now let's play a little bit with the offset because I want to see the violin a little bit. But it also should be a little bit covered, so we will get covering a little bit here, here. Yeah, I think I think that's not that bad. Cool. So this is it for now for the glass material. Let's get to the stand. With the stand, we will do something simple. Let's get. Let's get a noise. Let's go to the roughness. Just pipe it in and let's make it black. Dark in color. So let's get a ramp again. A reflection roughness. Get 
the rough areas a little bit more in here and let's make the frequency a little bit higher so oh, that's too high something like 15 and let's play a little bit with the offset and let's get a max so noise here let's connect it to the surface let's get the Luca let's make it a little bit bigger so something like two and let's use that as a bump so we will get a little bit of texture here not that much 0 0.01 uh, 0 0.025 that should be fine yes let's get this a little bit bigger something like that yeah that's all right and to the violin I used I think I used the copper material something like that or or may I may use the, the gold yeah yeah let's use the carbon for now let's color it a little bit more in and let's go back to the glass here and let's play with the offset because I want to see the violin let's get a little bit more five yeah let's get seven and try to get the offset right something like that yeah that's not that bad cool so now you can play with the lighting and so on but let's get started with some transforming here so let's get the copy and transform because why not and uh, let's copy the whole stuff here sometimes let's get six times copy it nice let's get into the camera let's get out of here let's get a little bit more space between them something like that so now you can choose one container with a violin you want to focus and the other one will get out of focus so let's tilt this a little bit something like that let's press render and let's get this violin here in focus so let's go to the focus let's drag it here to the violin that should be in focus and now you will get something like this so it's a pretty basic setup but with this copying stuff and of course you can place one here one here and to get symmetrical type of image something like that you can really get uh, creative with the stuff so let's just that's way too low here and yeah, try to to get an image mood or an aspect ratio, focal length, what you like, and then play with the settings. 
So for example, let's get here another noise. Reflection roughness. something like that. So now you can add if if you want to. I am not a big fan of the bloom stuff and so on. I do this in in post processing stuff so like fusion or photoshop something like that for for still frames. And you will get something like that. So I will see you in the next chapter guys.